In this video, we'll be fairly technical about how you can uh, monitor the performance of your analog components on a Scarry controller, like the joystick. We want the highest possible resolution from any analog component. So, for instance, adjusting the iris can happen in the, uh, in the smallest possible steps. We also want to make sure that any noise in the environment or any tolerances in the components are not going to um, invoke uh, commands on the bus which uh, shouldn't have been invoked simply because we uh, expect a too high resolution from the component and noise will make it um, jitter a little bit. So uh, here I have an RCP uh, with a joystick where I have a, a noise problem of some sort. It can be related to the environment it is in, whatever is connected and so forth. Um, but we need to calibrate it. So that would be the way out. And first we want to have uh, have an understanding about the nature of the problem. So if you look at the serial monitor here, you can see, um, let me just reset. So I reset the controller. It's connected with USB uh, to the controller over here. So uh, the controller here is now uh, resetting itself and it's connected with USB to my laptop. And you see in the serial monitor, as soon as it's, it has uh, rebooted, apparently, uh, something called HWC42 is activated all the time, and that's that's the joystick here. So if I move it a little bit, you can see that it it has it apparently has a tolerance problem somewhere around the middle, where now we we see it's gone. Um, but if I am let's say unfortunate and put it in a certain position, then um, we might see. Yeah, there we see without touching the joystick we actually um, <coughs> detect something from it. So what I want to do is look in the Unisketch manual where you can see various commands you can uh, type into the serial monitor. And one of them is show analog and list analog. So these commands will help me to um, calibrate my joystick. So maybe we'll just move these a little bit to the side so we can see what the commands say. And I can now type list analog in the serial monitor. And we'll see that we have two um, we have two analog components here, which um, are the fader and the wheel. And um, the fader is uh, analog component number one. And we see some data for its start position, end position, and the hysteresis, which is like the tolerance to how, how large a change uh, should we uh, see on the joystick before we consider it a, a new position we, and we should send a command to adjust the iris, for instance. So um, probably this is where the problem is. And what I want to use now is the command show analog. So show analog one. And I will enable scrolling again. So now we see a lot of data coming out. And as I move the joystick, you'll see how uh, the values and the um, gravity of the changes of moving the joystick is reflected um, here. And now you can see th this is basically a measure of the noise. So this is like... Um, in this vertical bar would be like, um, yeah, the noise level we experience. So apparently it's it's fairly high in the bottom and in the top it's not so much. And then in the middle around here, uh, it's like this and so on. So it actually seems like in the bottom we would experience the most noise. Now, the and then I think we can hide analog to stop this. Um, so we have the problem in the lower end of the of the joystick range here, apparently. So what I want to do now is to type in calibrate analog one. According to the description you find for this particular instruction, uh, it will now start a calibration process. So I'm instructed in the serial monitor to move the control to the first endpoint. So any endpoint, I move it to the top and I type in OK. And then it's sampling the joystick, and then I move it to the other end position, press or uh, type OK. And then I move it to the first one again. You can also click the button OK here if you want. And I move it to this position and OK. And now the, the fifth and final message is, or the fourth and final message is, go to a roughly central position and send OK. I'm just going to move up a little bit because what I, I know the most noise is in the lower part of the joystick. So. I press OK and it's sampling and we will see it's it's telling me now that I have a new start offset and end offset. They are probably more or less the same, but the hysteresis has been moved up to four. So it has now a higher a limit to how much change we should experience in the joystick before it actually detects a change. 
So um, I will press OK to save this calibration. Thank you. And then uh, I will have to restart the controller for this to actually take effect. And I can just press the reset button here. And now it's, it should prove interesting to see what happens after the controller is booting. If we um, if we see a change here, at least we can see the values are also reported here, so we can see what they were. And now apparently I don't experience anymore this this uh, self-induced commands anymore as I move the joystick. So by doing this, I managed to calibrate the joystick so it's uh, performing in the most optimal way in the particular in the particular environment it's in uh, depending on what noise sources it's it's next to you also saw how attaching the serial monitor will give you an a look inside a controller uh, that helps you to understand how well it's performing uh, or if there are any issues uh, with it it might not be clear from the display because uh, the percentage for the iris um, does doesn't reflect the decimals in this case so there might actually be s commands um, or, or changes in values that are not clearly visible when you just have a percentage value shown okay yep that's it